Tag along with our news crew as we hike to a glacier in the North Cascades with researchers to document glacial melt. Nick and I met up at noon and hit the road. We're leaving. It was about a three hour drive and let me tell you it was gorgeous, especially the higher up we went. We knew state and federal laws prohibited us from flying the drone once we started the hike, so we had to gather aerials before we started. Nick is an FAA licensed drone pilot and knew exactly where to fly it to be safe and follow the rules. I'm a VO, visual observer, so I helped make sure we were doing it safely and we got some great shots. I had never backpacked before, so I was a little nervous, but we grabbed our 50-pound bags of camera and camping gear and hit the road. That's Maury, the main researcher. He made sure we signed in. The first leg of our hike was gorgeous. It was about four, four and a half miles, and we had eight people with us. We got to Lake Anne just before sunset and hiked a little bit farther to set up camp. It was gorgeous. That's the Lower Curtis Glacier off in the distance. We refilled our water with fresh glacial melt, and let me tell you, it's the best water I've ever had. That night and in the morning, we then shifted our focus to shooting all of the natural elements. We had to bring the lightest gear possible, so Nick shot on an AS-73 and I shot on a GoPro on the way to the glacier. We stopped for a few interviews. Maury knows this hike well. He's done it for the last 42 years to document the glacial melt. This is where the glacier used to go up to at his feet. We spent the next couple of hours documenting them, gathering all of their data and analysis. Nick is a champ and he was climbing under and on and over the glacier to get all of this video and incredible natural sound. Next, we got ready to go on the snow-covered part of the glacier, so we put on our crampons and we followed the researchers up to the top. This part was insane. I'd never Ever seen a crevasse like that and we had to be really careful about where we stepped. Maury went ahead of us and used his snow stake to make sure that we were actually stepping on stable ground which made us feel a lot more secure. My favorite part about this story is that it's environmental and the views were beautiful but it's also really personal. Maury and his daughter do this research together. That's Jill. She's been coming for 17 years. She's actually an artist and she brings artists along with her to document this research from a really creative standpoint. After a few hours with them on the glacier, Nick and I knew we had everything we need, so we reversed all of that hiking. We packed up our camp. We started the journey back. It took a long time. We didn't get back until about 9 p.m., so it was a long two days, but so worth it. Now we have to put it together.